Hello guys, welcome. Uh, this is gonna be uh, the first video for the channel and uh, I'm just gonna talk about the purpose of this channel and I just want to share my story and it's funny because I've been thinking about it's pretty noisy here so I apologize but I've been thinking about making this video for years and uh, I just couldn't uh, couldn't get the confidence to, to make this and, but recently there there have been several events in my life that happened in my life that really made me decide to make this video. The purpose of this channel is uh, I just want to uh, help myself figure out the path I want to take in life, you know, and just figure out, just to help me stay on, on that path. And when I was eight, uh, my parents found a job abroad in China, which is where I'm at now. Uh, and I've been living here for 20, almost 20 years, which is crazy if you think about it, but yeah, time, time flies and yeah, grew up very isolated and moving to a country with different, you know, culture and language certainly didn't help. Man, it's gonna be a problem editing this video because it's noisy here and everyone's walking, you know, it's China, so it's like people are everywhere. It was so hard for me to find this place here to shoot an outside vlog. So yeah guys, this is gonna be a fan type vlog. This is not very structured. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna ramble basically and you know get comfortable with the camera. So anyway, when I was uh, eight I moved uh, my parents found a job in, in Asia, in China and so I've been living here for 20 years and uh, I am gonna leave this country next week which is, you know, part of the reason why I decided to make, uh, the, to start making these videos and to make this channel. Anyway, grew up pretty isolated, you know, back in kind kindergarten, I uh, felt like I was already a bit of, uh, of an old soul, like I couldn't relate to uh, many people. I moved into a country with different culture and different language, certainly it's in the help, so, you know, I, I certainly did grow up very isolated and to this day, uh, and you know it's it's just so hard. Uh, it's been pretty hard here, you know, uh, to becoming social. And I'm still not used. Up, even even after all these years, I'm still not used to a lot of things here. You know, like to name to give you a few examples. You know, for every for anyone who wants to come to China to live here, um, um, let me just give you a few heads up. First of all. Um, it's, it's very hard to assimilate here. I mean, you cannot assimilate here. As a foreigner, no way. It's a very na nationalistic type of country, so you're not gonna be able to uh, assimilate here, I'm afraid. Um, what else? Another thing is, just peop uh, because there are so many people, you know, people just treat, someone's walking out, people just treat each other like crap, because there are so many people, which is understandable, so many people, and. The more people there are in a certain place, the more devalued human life becomes. So, you know, yeah. But uh, those, those were some of the difficulties that, you know, I've been facing. And also, just, those are only two uh, difficulties that uh, I faced before. But there, I can tell you stories after stories. And I just wanna make, uh, keep this video under 20 minutes, just make an introduction. Like I said, it, it took me years to make this video because I was so, I grew up so insecure and so um, I just didn't have the confidence to make this video, you know. And it's it's because of these certain events which I will talk about in, a, in a upcoming videos that made me to decide to uh, make this channel, make this video. And I certainly went through my doomer phase in life, that's for sure, and I'll be talking about it too. Uh, in the other videos. Like many people who grew up isolated, you know, I certainly found an escape in the unhealthy things and you know, wasting my time on the internet. Luckily, I, I was able to find my passion, which is music, and that was just pure luck. Part two, I had to cut the video off because some guy just ran them up 
random guy just came in, stood there and just stared at me. You know, that, that happens in China all the time, by the way. Like, especially, even in quiet places, like, well, relatively quiet. It's like, in here, it's pretty much where I live, it's uh, pretty much impossible to find a quiet place. Uh, anyway, I, and by the way, I'm sorry for being, for, you know, stuttering and having trouble to find my words. It's, uh, it's very, I find it, it's really difficult to get used to camera, you know, hopefully I'll get used to it in the future, I'll get used to the camera in the future. Uh, but, yeah, you know, I certainly wasted a lot of time just on inter entertainment and uh, on uh, on porn and stuff like that. But I've been lucky enough to find my passion, which is music and guitar. And that happened just by accident, which I'll talk about probably in another video. Okay, guys, uh, I'm standing here right now. Uh, in front of a place where I grew up when I was eight and I remember it like it was yesterday you know the, the day that I came to China right when I was eight years old uh, and it was raining and I remember the first feeling was just feeling of like wow what am I doing here just loneliness you know and that feeling just kind of stayed with me throughout all my time here and yeah so anyway, I'm going to shut this video off right now and I'm just going to show you around uh, because it's getting noisy here. I'm just going to show uh, a place where I grew up, you know, hopefully you enjoy this. Uh, yeah, sorry for, you know, having trouble to find my words. This is not exactly scripted. I just kind of have had a rough sketch of what I'm going to talk about, but this is not scripted. This is me just, you know, venting. Oh look, this is like the the little field with little, I don't know what you call it, like gym equipment. Well, if you call it, <laughs> if you can even call it gym, I don't know what you call it. But uh, this is like little playing field, uh, playground, if you will. And they, they kept it pretty much the same. They they did change the, the equipment, you know, like you see, it's, it's new. And it wasn't new only like... I vi last time I was here I was like I was here um, about three years ago and it wasn't new it was old and look here uh, they have some this is a kind of like I guess it's kind of like a Chinese game like checkers I was never big into Chinese games you know but yeah as you can see guys they're doing construction here so it's very noisy I was hoping uh, it would be quiet here but no but you gotta do what you gotta do. I set my mind to make this vlog and uh, I did. And by the way guys, what do you think about, um, you know, insecurities? What are, where do they come from? Well, we all, they come from different things, we all know that, but where, you know, is it genetic or is it formed by your environment? Personally, I think it's both. But I think a large part of it is genetic because how else can you explain that, for example, you know, why uh, people, certain people are more prone to insecurities than others, you know, I've, not, I've noticed it ever since kindergarten, you know, that there were some kids that were, obviously everybody's insecure, but some kids were way more insecure than others, way more shy than others, you know, so I feel like a large part of it is genetic but it's also part of it that's created by your environment and that which you know and your environment you know growing up as a kid you cannot control it but at a certain point in your life you know that transition that happens of become when you become an adult then you take full responsibility and you can change a lot of things you know um, and I certainly still have my insecurities, but I just want to let you know, maybe someone who's watching, like six, 16 year old kid who's insecure, who's outsider, you know, like I was, I was just typical outsider in school, you know, still am in a lot of ways, but I have good news. Give it time, be patient, life does get better and there is a lot of things, there are a lot of things you can control. That's what you realize when you become, one of the things, one of many things you realize when, when you become an adult.
so as I've said, damn, I look ugly like this. So as I've said, you know, I grew up in uh, in a foreign country when I was eight. Uh, I moved to China, so I'm actually standing here in front of my house to which I moved when I was eight. And uh, let me just show you. They doing they're doing a construction here. They are rebuilding like the whole the whole building block. Uh, so let me just show you a little bit you know I lived right there you see there it's just completely empty right now at this point but you see the one two three I lived on the third floor right right up there uh, man so many memories you have no idea and uh, it's hard to believe I'm living in this country but it needed to be done for me to, you know, evolve as a person. So anyway, and like I said, I hope uh, this is just therapy for me. But I hope that someone gets something out of it. You know, even something little. Uh, I just want to help people. Anyway, yeah, it's funny. You know, you see these bushes. Uh, short story. Uh, one time. I was getting back from school. I studied in a small Chinese, uh, sorry, Russian school and Chinese schools as well. And so when I was studying in Russian school, I was about, I don't know, 14. And I, re I remember one time I just wanted to, you know, go to the toilet, like take a dump so bad that it's just the whole day I was just struggling, really struggling to keep it inside, you know. And last minute, when I was approaching these bushes, like I saw my house and my mind just went, hey, whatever, we're here. And I just realized that that's it, you know, like I'm gonna shit my pants if I don't do something. So I went into these bushes right there and I took a, I took a shit. And um, as I was taking a shit, I saw my neighbor's wife, like my, fa my, my dad's colleague's wife walking by and just looking at me like, Like, what the, f what the hell is that? That was uh, quite embarrassing. So anyway, uh, I don't want to make make it sound like I'm complaining. I'm not really, you know. I, I've had a lot of fun here, uh, good and bad mem bad memories here in China. And for anyone who wants to come here uh, to China, uh, let me know that down in the comments. If I have time, I will reply to the comments. So anyway, um, where was I? Oh yeah, when I was 14, one of the good memories was that when I was 14, I had my apartment all to myself. Uh, like there was two apartments. One was my parents and another one was mine. And they were together, right? Because, well, I'm not gonna get, get into details, but it was just complete luck that I got that apartment. You know, this wasn't something that, you know, my parents bought it for me, no. It was just complete luck. In that apartment, I had uh, one room to myself and the other one was my mom's office. And so at 14, uh, having your your own like apartment to yourself pretty much is like a dream come true. And that's when I, I discovered music, but also that's where I discovered one of the biggest addictions that I had to overcome, which was porn, you know. Um, and you know I've been watching a lot of channels on YouTube and so many people are so many people are struggling with that so I certainly do have some advice as far as you know I've been on NoFap on and off for about about uh, I would say like four years now so hopefully uh, I can help some some folks out there but anyway let me just go a little bit further, just show you around and um, tell you another story that kind of started my addiction to porn. So guys, to continue with the story, as I was saying, growing up at 14 I had uh, an apartment in myself, which was really cool. Uh, and uh, so, anyway, by the way, you see this door here, I'm not sure if you can enter, probably can't. But there was a basement there and that's where I got drunk for the first time in my life. So what, when I was like 14. So what happened was um, a buddy of mine from school, we, we got, um, it, 
was New Year's Eve and we got this baijiu, which is like Chinese vodka. But the difference between normal vodka and Chinese baijiu, right, which is Chinese vodka, is that uh, Chinese baijiu tastes like, I don't know, three times worse than regular vodka. And also it's like usually 56% alcohol. So you can only imagine, you know, even though I have like few sips I got pretty drunk you know and then my mom discovered me in my room with a friend and my friend went to you know explain that we're not drunk and my my mom was like reading the you know staring me myself in the eyes trying to read my eyes if I'm lying or not or not and if I'm drunk or not but yeah obviously um, it wasn't fun afterwards so and uh, alcohol, by the way, was another addiction of mine that I had to battle with. And I was never really an alcoholic, but still, you know, I had my, my issues. So anyway, we're approaching um, that place I wanted to tell you about. To finish off this vlog, I just want to share this story, uh, one last story. Um, uh, that also happened when I was 14 and I was living uh, in my own, staying in my own kind of apartment that was next to my parents' apartment. But as you can see over there, over there, there used to be like this DVD store and they were all over China. Uh, this cheap DVD store, they don't have them anymore here. I'm not sure uh, the exact reasons why, but uh, they used to have um, them all over China. This just uh, cheap DVD stores with um, pirated DVDs, and you could find anything. That's where that's where I discovered my passion for music. But that's this is like the the backdoor exit. Anyway, that's when I, where I discovered my passion for music. But it was also where when where I discovered uh, my addiction to porn and so you know uh, I remember I was so nervous you know, you know going to that store and just like seeing these DVDs with just like naked women and they were like dirt chip and they were right next to this uh, I mean it was just a mishmash of stuff it was you, you could see like it you could have like Marilyn Manson DVD like his uh, performance and like some that's where I discovered my passion for metal music by the way and uh, next right next to it it would be just like hardcore porn and it was all dirt cheap and I remember my palms were sweating mom spaghetti <laughs> my palms were sweating as I was buying that my first porn DVD and uh, that's where it started you know when you when you're 14 and you're living on your own and you have this porn store that's next to your house you are damn right most people are gonna get addicted and that's that's exactly what happened to me you know I got um, addicted to it and uh, I'll be sharing my um, journey with that you know and how I overcame uh, the addiction to porn and uh, alcohol so uh, yeah that'll be the end of it uh, hope Hope someone got anything from it, guys. Uh, I'm not sure what to expect, but I'm just, like I said, uh, this is just uh, an experiment. This is like a therapy for me. So anyway, uh, I'll see you soon. I'll see you in another videos. Peace.